<clears throat> Hello, welcome back. Um, tonight's video is going to be a snack crate unboxing. Um, my first one. Um, I didn't get to choose, well, I did get to choose, but I kind of got a mystery box instead of choosing one of the three countries. I did open it because it comes with a drink. And when you open it, it says, welcome to this month's snacking adventure. And this box is going to be Russia. So this is a snack subscription box where every month you go to a different country and you taste snacks from that country. It comes with a pamphlet that tells you about the country and then you get um, what your snacks are inside the box, some trivia and games. And we, oh, we have an oops card. It says we have something to tell you, an item was unavailable at the time of packaging your snack crate. Good news, we included a special snack to make up for this missing item, enjoy. So I'm guessing that special item is not gonna be on my card. Um, and I noticed I have a little Russian doll. It's like a little wooden button, I believe. Yes, it's a babushka doll. And they also give you a recipe on how to make, so siren, sireniki, um, I have, no idea what that is but you have a recipe here and then i'm guessing it's going to tell you what everything is this says the mini box so i'm guessing this is the um smallest subscription i will leave everything in the my description box below what the prices are and the type of box i believe i have the family box which is the biggest one that they offer so i'll get everything in the mini box the original box and the extra snacks on the family side so um, I'm gonna be joined by my husband in this video for tasting purposes. So in the next clip, you will see us joined with him. The first five snacks we are going to try are going to be featured in the mini version of the box, which also included the babushka doll. So let's, that was nice and packaged. Let's see. The... No. I don't see the first item that is supposed oh, to be no. in the bag. Aaliyah. Okay, so I don't see the first item that is in here. So we're going to move on to the next item, which is called Koro Koro Korochki. Let's see if I have those. Um, do I not have that either? Oh. Okay, so we're missing a 
couple items which I have no idea. I don't I think they've gotten I think they got um replaced somehow. I don't I don't see that. Okay, so we're gonna move on. The next thing is this. The Fruit, fruit, bears, passion fruit, raspberry, strawberry, blueberry, pineapple, apple flavored, chewy jelly candy. It's like gummy bears. This we did have. The first two items, I didn't see them in my bag, in my box. So I'm guessing those items were replaced. Mm. The heck? <laughs> These are supposed to be like smoky bear, little gummy bears. <laughs> so there's blueberry, raspberry, Passion fruit, strawberry, and pineapple, and apple. So I'm gonna go with a red because I'm not sure. What's the green? Might be apple. Oh. I think I got raspberry. They're softer than gummy bears. Yeah. American gummy bears are harder. Not bad. The next thing is this Yashkino soft waffle. It says a soft and fluffy home style waffle that is literally jam packed. Enjoy a tart cherry filling in this breakfast. But this doesn't look like cherry. This looks like caramel. So <clears throat> let's give that a try. I don't know. Look, looks like this. Right smells good. It kind of smells like mm -hmm. it is a soft waffle. It's a soft and fluffy home style waffle. This is not fluffy. <laughs> and it actually looks like caramel on the inside. Not um, cherry. Oh, wait, we skipped one. This is not what that is. I'm gonna, this is the Dutch waffle. This is two soft and chewy waffle cookies sandwiched with thick layer of caramel. That's what this is. We skipped over. This <laughs> is what we were supposed to try. This is the soft fluffy waffle with tart. Very filling. Mm. The caramel one's good though. You like that one? Yeah. Okay, let's do Hi. what. If you hear kids' songs in the background or a child, that's my daughter. Well, this is a waffle. This is <laughs> a waffle, and this is what it looks like in the inside. Like a, like a real waffle. It is supposed to be a soft fluffy home style waffle here not bad mmm this stuff I like that I didn't get a piece with a lot of cherry but it's not bad okay next thing would be biscuit cake banana no, I see that. Good deal. Okay. What is this? It is a sweet, spongy shortcake with a decadent banana cream filling in the shape of a fun animal. Mmm. It has a elephant on it. Mm. So it is in the shape of a cute little elephant. Very cute. Yeah, we're like some kind of... Supposed to be like a... Honey bun thing? Like a shortcake. Mm. 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 It doesn't have a lot of filling. The filling is right here. It tastes banana. 
What does it taste like to you? I taste like a banana bread. We're actually gonna cake bread. I taste banana bread. Okay, we already tried the Dutch waffle. This next item is the Lucky Roll. That looks like this. And it says sweet, crispy wafer smothered in condensed milk coating and rolled into a perfect snacking roll. And it is like a roll waffle. Mm. Mm. It's crumbly. So let's try. Hey, it tastes like the waffle cone That's for ice cream. Mm. The next item is this. Alianka chocolate. Named after the daughter of the first woman in space, this milk chocolate bar has been the market leader in Russia since 1966. Mm. Oh my gosh. Nice. Sorry. Got a little nervous. And it is just like a regular milk chocolate bar. Mm. Mm. Not for you. She's not into chocolate, sweets, that sort of thing. So I knew that wouldn't be for him. Um, the next thing is this white and fluffy pancake with Aye. raspberry jam seeping. Out every bite. Let's see if that is true. Like a pancake. It is a pancake. Oh. It's a pancake that has raspberry jam in it. So it's supposed to be seeping out every bite. So it looks like this on the inside. And I mean, it, like a Smucker's. <laughs> I guess. Pancake smuffers. <laughs> Tastes like a sandwich. It has like some jelly in it. I don't know. Okay, this what we might like, which is this one. This is, I'm not going to box the name of it. But it's a type of crouton. And it's just a fun, mm. a fun twist on a favorite Russian snack. Salmon and cheese flavored rusks with tartar sauce for dipping. So let's see if you, mm. I am not gonna try this. I am not gonna try this because I don't like seafood. So you can try that. Oh. So that you try it. I don't eat seafood. Oh, and it has tartar sauce in the bag for dipping. It legit has tartar sauce. Oh. <laughs> what the heck is this? I don't like tartar sauce, so I'm oh. Oh. not going to try that. Aaliyah. Oh. Excuse us for one moment. Okay, we're back. In our subscription, we got a drink. And this is what it looks like. And it says, this classic drink is described as tasting like the journey into the heart of the magical fairy Taiga. <clears throat> it's in Russia, Russian. And I have no idea what flavor it's supposed to taste like. Let me see. Picture. I have no idea what it's supposed to taste like. I. Like it says pulse. journey into the heart of the magical fairy. 
Take me on the fucking ride. <laughs> mm, it smells like pine cones. Right, that's, 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 isn't that what the picture So I have a glass here with ice and it looks like this. And it legit tastes like, it smells like pine cones. Oh, yeah. I told you. Like, it smells like pine cones. It tastes like. Kind of tastes like ginger ale. It doesn't taste like pine cones. Man, it's watered down soda. <laughs> but it smells like pine cones. There's pine cones on the can. But it tastes like ginger ale. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Moving on. <clears throat> the next item is Tula gingerbread. Tula, Tula, Tula. No. Gingerbread? Just covered in powdered sugar. Is that what this is? Where is this Tula gingerbread? Where is that? Tula gingerbread. That has to be this because, yeah. A Russian, classic Russian gingerbread treat with a delicious fruit covered filling. Covered in powdered sugar. And covered in powdered sugar. It has to be this because there's nothing else. Let me see. I can read German. That's not even German. It's Russian. Oh, yeah. That's it. It has to be it. It's dense and, like, hard. Let's see. Yeah, this gotta be it. I smell ginger. <laughs> it's hard. Like, yeah, it's got fruit filling. It's kind of hard. I actually really like gingerbread, but I'm not sure. Try it. Smell ginger. A little dry. Not bad. I smell, I taste ginger. It's just dry. Now, my daughter, we have this next. Found in every Russian family's pantry, these mini crunchy bagels are the perfect snack for any dip. Like a cracker ring. This reminds me of when you get like the Chex Mix mm. and it comes with a little cracker. Mm -hmm. Little breadsticks in the Chex Mix. That's what this reminds me of. Okay. Yo, yeah, Kino chocolate. Where is mm. Yash Kino chocolate? Who's in this one? like not on my book because I don't I don't have that I don't have the yes Kino chocolate I don't have it I have it's not in my box so I guess we are going to move on the next item is 
Yumka. Yumka. Wafer bar. Crispy wafer with soft caramel and puffed corn rice in decadent milk chocolate glaze. <laughs> Sorry for the extra noise. Okay. So it looks like this. Let's. Up. It has caramel, chocolate. You can try it. Not try it. Let me try it. Daddy. I like that. You try it. Oh. Next thing is a pine cone. Pine cone shaped marshmallow and condensed milk filling, milk chocolate. I actually don't like marshmallow. It's not my <clears throat> favorite thing in the world. My pine cone looks a little crushed. It looks like this. Doesn't look like a pine cone. Okay. Is it cold? And marshmallow. Who's that in the middle? Condensed milk filling. I don't like it. I don't like marshmallow. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a no. Mm -hmm. uh, These you can try. I will not. Chips and crab crisps. Russian, Russia's favorite brand of potato chip with flavors of its coast. Crispy, crunchy, and crabby potato chip. I don't see anything seafood. Oh, it's more like crab. Like legit crab. Like crab, crab, crab meat. They look like this. What? You can try them. They're crab crisps. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm not trying it. I don't even like seafood. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what does it taste like? Oh no, man! Like seafood? Yeah, something different. It ain't no seafood. <laughs> Our next item is a zebra bar, wafer with raisins and peanuts and soft caramel chocolate glaze. Looks like that. My daughter is actually loving that last chocolate bar. And it looks similar to what the last one looked like, but this one has raisins and peanuts. Wafer. I like that one. It's not bad. He's not big on chocolate or sweet. Hold on. Come on. Hey, okay. Our next item is mini free onion rings. Airy puffed onion rings covered in Russia Russian flavor of mushrooms. So these are supposed to be like onions. Mm. Mm, they don't smell bad. No. They look like they're supposed to be like a, like a funyun. Mm. That doesn't smell bad. Like an onion. You can taste the mushroom. We're all careful. I don't even like it. <laughs> she just sees. Not bad. You can taste the mushroom. You like it? You can taste the mushroom flavor. Which one? Mm. Yeah. You like it. Two year old proof. Now we have Corvodka wafer sticks. Corvodka 
Korovka is the name of a funny little cow that makes treats like four Russian kids this condensed milk wafer. Like a wafer cookie with condensed milk. That's a little melty. Not bad. You wouldn't like it. It's too sweet. And the last item on my paper are these. Crispy confectionery smothered in smooth white chocolate with raspberries. But I have two items in here that we haven't tried that it's not on my list. Okay. Has raspberry and white chocolate. You taste the raspberry. You taste the. I don't taste white chocolate, but I taste the raspberry. I have these that are. They look like croutons. And they were not on any of my pages. Hello. If I'm not mistaken. No. So I'm guessing. I have no idea what they are. But on the picture it shows like caviar. So my lovely husband Hello. is going to be trying these. Because I don't. Where are the other fish stuff? I don't eat Hello. seafood. Okay. Those smell like salmon or something, like a fish. Oh, it's my yellow. I don't want it. You're not even gonna try it. Nah, man. Oh, uh, I don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like a crab stuff. Uh uh I will not try that. Um, this kind of looks like popcorn. Popcorn. Like a strawberry popcorn. It's not in my books like my paper so I can't even tell oh yep it's popcorn I Easy. can't because it looks like popcorn I can't even tell you what it is Sorry, popcorn. It smells like strawberry it is strawberry popcorn legit popcorn popcorn something new I don't really taste strawberry though and my very last item that is once again not in my book is this chocolate bar that looks like it has macadamia nuts in it. It's like a nut chocolate bar. Okay. This one has macadamia nuts. It looks like dark chocolate. It's like a regular chocolate bar with nuts in it. Now that is everything in my box. I am a little disappointed that there were a couple items on my pamphlet that I did not receive at all. But I mean, they did compensate by replacing it. But I wish that they would have added a description of what they replaced. Because I had no idea what it was. I do think that it is worth the money. You get a lot. Um, they don't give any clues what next month's box is going to be. But on the back of one of your pamphlets that you get, you get to choose kind of what you want for next month. Not sure. If you enjoyed this video, want to see more, please like the video, subscribe, and in the comment section below, leave um, any other suggested videos or unboxings that we should try. If you want this to be a more regular thing. And with that being said, good night.